Hi! In today's video I'm going to show you how to make these unicorn cupcakes at home. It's much more easier than you would think. I started off by rolling out some light pink fondant. Now these days you can buy pink fondant in the color or you can just take white and color it with some gel food coloring. I love using cake floras gel coloring but you can use any one you prefer. So here I just choose a cookie cutter about 15 centimeters wide. I took a star and now I'm just cutting off the triangles and that's going to be our little ears. Remember you need double for each cupcake. So once I have all of my triangles cut out, I'm going to take some more child food coloring, white this time, and just paint the sides to sides of my triangle which is going to become the ear like I said. Now you don't have to do the whole painting thing. You can use white underneath and cut out the smallest stars and just press the pink on top. I didn't have any white at home only the pink so I ended up just painting them. So easy to make and so relaxing. You would not believe how relaxing it is to paint. <laughs> Once I am happy with all of the sides I wanted to paint, I'm going to take another color, which is black this time. And I chose black for the next step because I found that my luster dust, which is going to be used on it, my gold luster dust, really stuck to the black nicely. So I'm taking a small piece of black fondant also, you can buy this or color this. I like to buy my black because it's much easier than trying to get that color. I added some CMC powder inside. Now, if for you guys that doesn't know what CMC is, it's just a powder to help make the fondant a little bit harder, quicker. So I'm rolling out locks quite thinly, cutting them about four or five centimeters long just putting two sides together and twisting. And there you have it, you have your little unicorn. I continued doing those until I had 12. I think I needed about 12 cupcakes here. And it's so easy to do and so fun and goes much quicker than trying to do it another way. Now that I'm happy with the amount that I made, I quickly got my gold luster dust and I'm re using roll cream for this and took my just normal makeup or well not mine this is actually one in the baking room but a blusher brush it works easy and I just coated my uni little unicorns with my gold luster dust I went over about once or twice and once I'm happy with that I just put them aside to dry and continue to dry. I'll show you now the gold luster dust I'm using here from from Rolled Clem is uh, super gold if I remember correctly and it just stuck to my black fondant very nicely. As you can see all done putting them aside coming back to my little ears I'm going to start painting them again I wanted to emphasize the white and I just went over once or twice again. Now I'm showing you how to fold them. I'm just bringing two sides together and I'm going to put them right side up so you guys can see how the ear would look once I'm done. There we go. See, much easy. And while they dry, I continue doing the rest and we are ready to get to the frosting part now. In our next step, I'm using three different colors here. So I'll be having three bowls with white frosting and again using my gel coloring, which is sky blue, electric pink and electric purple. There we have it again from Cake Flora. I love their gel colorings. I just added a little bit to each bowl 
and started to blend them in. And you want to continue blending until you see no more white streaks and put the frosting aside and continue to the next one. Next one is that beautiful sky blue. For some reason I'm in love with that color. And the last one I'm using electric pink. Just mixing until I can barely see any, any more of the white streaks there. I'm taking plastic wrap and putting it on the table, taking a piece and I'm going to take my frosting now and almost layering them on top and aside from each other, starting with my pink, putting small sp spoonfuls right next to each other, just about the same amount. And lastly, our purple. And we're going to roll that up, bring the sides together, make a little lock out of it, take the one part off and get my piping back. I'm using a 1M Wilton tip, which I'm very fond of. And I'm going to drop that little log off bag with the three colors directly inside my piping bag. This helps so much and as you can, guys can see, the coloring is just perfect with that and the same. I'm starting at the side and working my way in and going on top of each, almost like a little ice cream. Just covering all the sides of my cupcake there we go. Look how pretty that is. Now bringing those unicorns we made earlier, sticking one right in the middle and on top of each of my cupcakes. So easy to do. You guys can really do this at home. Bake some for your family, send some to school with the kids. Next, next thing we're going to take those ears. Now, now I use the back of my brush, my paint brush, to just put the sides or press in the middle and bring the sides in. I found that way it was quite easy and fast to do and pressing two of my ears into the cupcakes. How easy is that? Continue with that. You can even add a little glitter if you want, but I was very happy with the colors and it came out perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have make some time to actually make this for your family and share them as much as you can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.